and they're off and Moiseev has Bunch rolling from the outside. Thunder Bay, his stablemate comes out well. St. Emilian Hanover being chased early and Rich's Hanover with that inside position heads on to an early lead for La Chance. Pacific Dino has dropped in fourth as Thunder Bay now paces on to the front. Bunch is parked on the outside in fifth. DreamWork is sixth on the inside, followed up by Happy Joe Lucky. Shark Shuttle is racing an eighth, Captain's License ninth, and Wicked Island trails 26 and three. A strong opening quarter here, and Ouellette is trying to tap the brakes with Thunder Bay, and here comes his stablemate Bunch up on the outside looking for the two-hole tuck. Rich S. Hanover is racing in third as they head down the backstretch. Bunch does not have room to drop in. Rich S. Hanover closed the hole on him there. St. Emilian Hanover two lengths further back fourth, and Bunch is pressing on to take the lead. DreamWork on the outside is a gapping first over fifth. Pacific Dino is sixth as they hit the half and 54 and two. Happy Joe Lucky to the outside, and here comes Rich's Hanover, now first over from third, and his stablemate DreamWork picks up that cover. Further back in the field, racing in eighth is a locked-in captain's license. To his outside is Shark Shuttle, and Wicked Island trails the field, and Rich's Hanover is striding up powerfully, and he's taking the lead. Bunch has had a tough trip. He's back in second. DreamWork up on the outside is third. Thunder Bay is locked in. Happy Joe Lucky fifth on the rim. Three-quarters 124 and 1. They're at the top of the stretch in the Woodrow Wilson. It's Rich's Hanover who sprinted away to lead it by three. DreamWork is second. Happy Joe Lucky trying to gain on the outside. La Chance working hard on Rich's Hanover. DreamWork is chasing with Happy Joe Lucky. Captain's license on the outside. Rich's Hanover all out. DreamWork surging up on the outside. Rich's Hanover holds on. DreamWork second. Happy Joe Lucky third. 153 flat. Coming back to the winner's circle, number two, Richus Hanover. Two-year-old Western Hanover Colt out of Rich and Elegant by Drex Scooter, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, Canada. The trainer is Bob McIntosh, Mike Lachance in the sulky. Richus Hanover remains undefeated, a perfect 6-4-6 six six in his racing career, winning the Woodrow Wilson final in a time of 153 flat. The dam of Rich's Hanover, Rich and Elegant, is also the dam of Rustler Hanover. Rich's Hanover gives Bob Waxman his second rich win in the last two nights. He owned the Peter Houghton winner smoking lantern last night here at the Big M and scores in the Wilson with Rich's Hanover. Match number nine, consummation. Number nine, consummation is sick and is scratched in race seven. The pick three combination on the sixth race pays 98.60. Here's Bob Hayden. Thanks, I'm joined by winning driver Michael Chance. Mike, five for five coming in, he drew post one. Take us to the early part of this race. Well, first, uh, with the rail, I felt, I felt uh, pretty confident because yeah, yeah, that, that colt could do anything you want. Uh, Last week in the uh, elimination, I was first up with him, and he still uh, was pretty good at the wire. So I knew uh, uh, that he could do a lot. Okay, they were buzzing pretty good here uh, to the half. What were you thinking at that point? Well, I didn't expect uh, those, uh, th those kind of fraction. Uh, you know, I didn't care because, you know, he was uh, nice and relaxed. You know, of course, uh, 54 and then 3 to the half, uh, he was relaxed. And uh, when I pulled on the last turn, I had a lot of horse. And I just went around Jack, uh, and, well, he had enough of the wire, but, you know, still, I had to use him hard in the last turn. Yeah, and DreamWork and Daniel Dubé were coming after you. Yeah, well, that's the other part of the entry. But, uh, so, that's a, that's a great night for, uh, for Bob. Uh, it makes up for last night. We saw you here a couple years ago in the Winter Circuit of Wilson with Jeremy's Gambit. This is a different kind of horse, isn't it? Oh, yeah, different kind of horse. He's just uh, maybe half of the size of uh, Jeremy's Gambit. Jeremy's Gambit was, like, a bit like a, like a big monster. Uh, but this colt has uh, got a great attitude and uh, a great gait, and he's got a lot of quality to be a, a top, top horse. All right, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Michael Chance was self-possessed. Good luck in Hamiltonian. We'll let you rejoin the winner's circle picture here with your group there, and then we'll grab Morning one trainers, of the uh, trainers. But tonight, Bob McIntosh was 1-2, and you told us last week that DreamWork was very good last week. Yeah, he's in a big colt, and he's improving, and uh, he's just getting better every week. And it's extra special because I, uh, I bred him myself with my partners, and uh, he's a homebred, and uh, he's just a big grinding horse that's uh, going to get better every week. And uh, Rich's Hanover, he's now six for six. 
He's done it uh, just about everything they've asked him so far. Tell us about him. Uh, he's just been good from day one. Like uh, He reminded me right away of, I've seen Western Hanover as a yearling, and he really reminded me of Western Hanover. And uh, he's just been a perfect gentleman to train from day one, and might give him a super steer. And he had, th he had an entry in there, three-horse entry, and, uh, and he come up with a, might come up with another, just a beautiful drive. What were you thinking when you saw that uh, fast half up there, 54 and 2? Well, I, it was, it was, it was, I was, the fractions were good and honest, that's for sure. And I was just hoping that we weren't going to get trapped in. But knowing Mike, I thought he, uh, he knew he was a big race and he was going to give him a chance to win. What's next for both of your Colts? Uh, right now, I'm just going to digest this tonight, and then uh, it'll probably be the Metro will be the next thing for them. Okay, Bob McIntosh, congratulations. First and second in the Woodrow Wilson final.